Hello to all my story lovers. Welcome back in Story Time channel. Today's our story name is The Secret. I am Pallavi reading story for you. Now, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. If you like the story, then write in the comment box. Let's go to the story. In my class, about 40% of the students are girls and 60% boys. When I studied engineering 35 years back, I was the only girl in the course. I could only see boys and more boys everywhere. Today, that trend has changed. People often ask me how I manage. But when I look back, I feel it was not very difficult. Having a girl in the class was unusual for the boys and initially I was the target for a lot of teasing. But over a period of time, they became my best friends. One day in the class, I was teaching. The students got into an argument. This happens often and I always allow them to speak. Normally, this happens in the last class of the semester. I call it free day and there are no studies that day. An argument had broken out between the girls and the boys about who was better. This is a very juicy topic and there is absolutely no end to the arguments. Suddenly, the class was divided into two groups and the debate became emotionally charged. I sat back and enjoyed their arguments. The girl said it is ultimately the woman who makes the man. She is more powerful, has great endurance for pain and is better manager than a man. All successful men have been backed by the supportive woman. Without her help, man cannot achieve anything. The boys laugh at this. The woman will always be behind. Never in the front. How many women have got the Nobel Prize? A woman's brain weighs less than man's. I had to interfere here to say that there is absolutely no correlation between the weight of the brain and its function. The boys look quite upset at my comment. Men's start wars. Wars happen because of women. Look at what happened because of Helen of Troy, Draupadi or Sita. The foolish argument continued for a long time. Neither of two groups was ready to accept the reality. Now I realized I had to step in. I said, I will tell you a story, listen to it and decide who is great. Immediately, there was a pin drop silence. A long time ago, there were two kings, one rule over Kashi and other over Kosla. They did not like each other. Once both kings were traveling and they met, they were on their chariots. The road was small and only one chariot could pass at one time. Unfortunately, both chariots reached that spot at the same time, they stood facing each other. Which chariot would pass first? The kings refused to talk to each other, so their charioteers started talking. The Kashi charioteer said, My king has 10,000 soldiers. The Kosla charioteer replied, My king also has 10,000 soldiers. My king has 200 elephants. So does my king. My king owns 10 lakh acres of fertile land. So does mine. The arguments carried on. It was very surprising that both kings had the same things. Then the Kosla charioteer said, My king punishes bad people, dislike lazy people, and uses his money for the betterment of the kingdom. The Kashi charioteer replied, My king helps bad men, people, become better human beings, makes a lazy person work hard and uses his money for the betterment of poor people. When the king of Kosla heard this, he told his charioteer, he is better human being than me. I must become his friend. 
give way to their chariot first when the king of kashi heard this he got down and embraced the king of kosla thus their enmity ended and they became friends i look at my students and said today i will tell you a secret i usually tell this at the end of the course in the last class in real life men and women are not opponents they are the two wheels of a chariot there is nothing good about one and bad about another both should possess good qualities a person gets known by the qualities he or she possesses not by the gender that's decided by god i am teaching you computer science today but you will learn more in real life technology changes every day and good books are always there in the market what i am teaching is also how to be a good human being these values have not been prescribed in any syllabus nor will they appear any examination but these are the essential qualities you need to do well in life when you become older you should remember that there was a teacher who taught you the values of life along with your first knowledge of computer science you must then teach your children the same values with as much love and affection the class ended that day with my students gathered around me and all of us trying to hold back our tears now this is the end of the story do you like it then comment it subscribe my channel bye bye